today we're gonna to be achieving the Kim Kardashian curls. So the first step is to obviously prep the hair, have it nice, dry, and clean, which we've already done with Braylin, giving her a nice sleek blow dry and centered her hair directly down the center. So what works great with this style is to kind of already have some face framing pieces, just like Kim does. She does also have extensions, so I'm gonna show you how to kind of cheat that and get as maximum fullness to your hair as possible. However, if you'd like to purchase some extensions, you can always go to your local beauty supply store and one of the sales reps will help you match the best color. So with Braylin's hair, since we have a pretty good length, we're just gonna go with what we have right now. I'm gonna use a nice Shine Thermal Protectant Spray. What I like about this product is that it adds tremendous shine, which Kim always has lots of because she has such rich color. So one key to this is to not just use a hairspray, but something with memory that adds shine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep. I'm gonna start with the front of Braylin's hair. Start with one of her little wing pieces, which Kim is famous for. I'm gonna comb that product in real well. And I'm gonna start at a nice angle. You don't wanna go all the way up to the root with this technique. You wanna leave it a little bit smoother all in the crown and really start to bump that body maybe two inches away from the root. I'm gonna come in, hold the curling iron pretty vertically, and kind of slide out. We're gonna leave it like this to let it cool down as we work through the entire head and at the end kind of blend all the pieces together. So we're gonna come in next. I am gonna divide this into a nice deep V section. And pin this out of my way. You wanna make sure that each piece is saturated, the light mist of your product. And you do wanna comb each section. That's one way that Kim gets her hair to look so sleek and smooth, as it is about precision of each subsection, getting all the flyaways to tame away. So if you're just using your fingers to smooth, you're not gonna get that same sleekness that she has. Once again, come in vertical. Guide the hair through the curling iron. Pulling away from the head. No fish hooks on the end, and then drop. So we're just gonna let that settle for a few seconds. I'm gonna come one section back and do the same thing. And as you're gonna see, I'm gonna work one side of the head, then the back center, and then the other side. I like to work from the bottom up on one side. That way you can get the curls to lock in together in a more uniform way. So for Brilin's hair, for the length she has, and since we're not adding extensions to her hair, this three-quarter of an inch curling iron is perfect. However, if you were gonna be using extensions or yet thicker or longer hair, I would say go one to two steps up in curling iron size, so you could use maybe a one inch curling iron or inch and a half. Just remember the larger the curling iron, the less strength and memory you're gonna have behind your curl. Like I said, I like to work on top because then I can take this curl and lock it into the previous one on the lower section. So here we'll do the same thing where we're gonna curl and then lock it into that section. You also wanna be consistent with the directions of your curl. All of Kim's curls come from that center part to the back on both sides. So if you switch your curling iron direction, then you're not gonna get that consistency that you see in her curls. So just loop those two together, just like that. Now we're gonna come to that top section and finish this side up. Vertical once again. All right, now I'm gonna to move to the back of the head. I'm just gonna kind of make it consistent, so I'm gonna section out this side so I can match my opposite side when I get to there. We'll just lightly clip that out of the way. And we're gonna start from the bottom and work up. Perfect. 
and it's gonna be a nice soft horseshoe or upside down triangle shape, higher on the sides and deeper in the center. This look is very simple to achieve, but like I said, it's about remembering the consistency of the angle of your curling iron and the direction of your curls. So I am starting on this side of Braylon's head and I want to make sure that the curls still continue to the back center. And that I'm holding my curling iron vertically. And then the same that we did with the sides where each section falls into the piece below, we're going to follow that same technique in the back. So I'm just going to lock these curls together right now so that they have a chance to cool together in the same shape, just like that. As you can see, I'm still locking all my curls together. This is just for consistency for the end look. We are gonna kind of break this up and soften it, but just so it curls in the same direction and around the same spot that the curls will start, that's when you wanna kind of link them around each other. And for the amount of hair that Braylon has, and the shape of her head and the shape of her face, I'm working in threes. Threes is my magic number right now. So I have one, two, three sections. So two on the side and one in the back. And when I get to like more towards the top of her hair, so far I've already done three sets of curls throughout the whole thing, but this is gonna section out perfectly into threes. So I'm working in threes right now. Perfect, so now we're gonna work to our third and final section. And I usually wanna start with the front bang on the opposite side, just to match the consistency of the one on the other side. So we'll come in, and I'm gonna take the same size sectioning. It's pretty similar, a little bit more. I'm actually gonna turn you this way. Same angle and same start position. It's great to be able to do this in the mirror because you can really see when you're doing it on yourself where they lay and catch the same way. So yeah, when I brush that out, that'll be nice and even. So now I'm just gonna come to this side because it's a little bit easier for me to work on her. So now that we have those locked in together, we have the base for our Kim Kardashian look. So I'm just gonna softly come in and kind of start to break the curls up. I'm gonna touch this side last, just because it's still a little bit warm from the curling iron. I want there to still be some memory on that side too. So we have a couple options. You can either shake it out, kind of leave it as is, or we can go through and we can polish it with a nice soft brush, which is what I think I'm gonna do on Braylon. I'm gonna spray a little bit of hairspray into my brush. I'm just gonna come in, kind of just help mold those curls to get them like Kim's. So they like 
red carpet look down her back. <laughs> All right, my dear. There we have it, our Kim Kardashian curls, done with just a soft, simple brush, curling iron, and a nice shine setting spray.